Mm. Ah, another one bites the dust. <laughs> oh, free range maple trees. I didn't know they were caged. Well then, we're rolling. Rolling. Oh, hey. Hey, how you doing? All right. Welcome to the 54th episode of the Addison County Countryman. I'm your host, Well Den Opinionated. And as always, a continued celebration of Don Heron. Well, this program today is sponsored by Yes Please Cleaning Services. Now scheduling for spring, basement, and garage cleanouts and deep cleans. You've seen it all, cleaned it all. Hard working, reliable, trustworthy, and fine folks. Looking to help out. And we could all use a bit of that, couldn't we? Yeah. Find them on that Facebook thingy dingy. Look for that there butterfly. They have the reputation for being the easiest folks to work with. Yeah. Tell them we sent you. Yeah. Now, on to the news. Old Farmer Reginald was terribly overweight. So his wife told him to get an appointment with the doctor. So Doc Henderson put him on a strict diet. Tells him, I want you to eat regularly for two days, skip a day, and repeat this procedure for two weeks. Next time I see you, you'll have lost at least five pounds, feel like a whole new man. Well then, the old farmer returned, shocking his doctor by having lost almost 20 pounds. Oh, what? Why, that's amazing, the doc said, highly impressed. You certainly must have followed my instructions. Reginald nodded. Yep. But I tell you what, though, I thought I was going to drop dead on the third day. Why? From hunger, the doc asked? Nope. From all that darn skipping. <laughs> ah, skip to blue, my farmer. Ah, anyway. Ah. In other news, well, Bristol's most prominent, arrogant, rich man, Mr. Buford Butkus, passed away. And in his will, he entrusted $100,000 in cash to each of his closest neighbors. Mrs. Thelma Lou, Mr. Floyd Larson, and Farmer Briscoe Darling. In his will, he instructed that each of them was supposed to put all the money into an envelope and place it into his coffin at his funeral. On the day of the funeral, each of the neighbors came with a large envelope and in turn placed it in the wealthy man's open casket. When the man was buried, the neighbors walked away from the cemetery together Thelmaloo said to the other two, I must confess, I didn't put all the money in. I kept $20,000 for myself and only put in $80,000. Floyd says, well, I should be honest too. I kept $30,000 for myself and only put in $70,000. Well, old farmer Briscoe looked at the other two in derision and said, I'm ashamed of you both. Our entrusted neighbor instructed us to put in a hundred thousand each into his casket. And I'll have you know, I put in the full amount. Thelma Lou gasps. You did? You're darn right I did. I put a check in for the whole amount. Farmers, <laughs> <laughs> ah, always thinking. Yeah. Oh boy. Anyway, tune in next week. For another fast-paced sighting and informative episode. Come back. Keep smiling. It makes people wonder what you're up to or what you're thinking. <laughs>